Hello, everybody. Uh, it's a uh, Monday for me, so um, I'm not sure what day it is for all y'all. But um, if it is a Monday, happy Monday. Um, this is JD for JD's junk drawer. Um, we're doing another vlog. We're going around today and doing some thrifting. Um, I'll be honest, I had other plans today personally, but there was an issue with my kid's school bus, so I had to drive her to school. So then I just dropped my wife off, so then I have the truck, and I'm in town with nothing to do. So here we are. Um, I'm going around to some places that I don't usually go check on that are local to me. Um, we're actually parked right out front of a liquidator's place. Um, this is a new discovery for me. And, um, yeah, we're just going to do that today. Just going to jump around, check out some places, see if we can find any really cool finds. Um, I have a budget today, um, so I'm going to try to see if I can find some cool stuff and stay within my budget. And uh, I'm going to bring you all along for the ride. I uh, stopped off and had my morning snack already and me coffee empty. So we're, we're all prepped. We're ready to go. Um, like I said, we're parked right out here in front of this liquidators. Before we go check out the liquidators, though, they have a awesome thing in their parking lot. And we are going to go check it out real quick. Y'all see that? For those of you who know, you know. Uh, for those of you who aren't really into vehicles or maybe don't know what this is, this is a Willys Jeep. Yeah, this is a Kaiser pickup. This is an original Jeep. That's cool. Oh wow, look what they did in there. That's neat. I love rat rods of all kinds, all shapes and sizes. This thing is awesome. It's got the original axles underneath it. It's got a ton of original stuff going on. They've done some nice LEDs up front. I like the wheels. This thing's awesome. The key's just sitting in it. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's some small town stuff right there. Just leaving the keys in it. I am from a podunk nowhere town, and uh, I used to do the same thing. I never pulled my keys out of my vehicle until I moved from there as a kid. But yeah, we're coming up to the liquidator now. So let's see what's up. I don't I don't know if they're open today. <sighs> yeah, we missed it. But uh, I can tell just from looking in the windows that this place is cool. What's up with all this stuff? Oh wow, they've got some stuff just hanging out out front. Shows how small town this is. Man, I need, to, I need to grab my beanie out of the truck. It is like a whopping 15 degrees here in central Washington today. We've had a random cold snap uh, over the weekend and creeping into today. And uh, tomorrow it's supposed to be like 40 degrees, which is awesome. But today, not so much. I'm, I'm freezing. <laughs> We're back in the truck. Um, that Willie's Jeep is awesome. I'm still over here gawking at it. I'm just, I love those things. Um, big vintage and antique car nut. Um, regardless, I digress. So now um, I'm gonna take y'all on a little drive. We are gonna go to the next little town over uh, called Nachi's. And there are a few stores there in the area. Um, again, I, I'm not sure if they're going to be open this time of year, I don't ever really venture out there uh, during the winter time. But we're going to go check it out anyway because uh, it's a beautiful area and I have the day to myself. So why not go and, you know, get out of our usual route and go explore a little bit. So yeah, hang out. I'm going to take you all along for the ride.
Okay, first stop. Again, I'm not sure if they have stuff out. It might just be seasonal, but this is the, the random little gas station here outside of Nachi's, and they typically have some really cool thrift sun, uh, thrift fun. Wow, I can't talk. Thrift finds here. Um, my friend and I stopped in once, and he got himself a bunch of really cool vintage uh, motocross uh, like uh, apparel. And uh, I've stopped and gotten a few random antiquities here before as well. So we'll see what they have. Well, of course, um, no, another, uh, another seasonal. So got a coffee though. Because like I said before, it is a Monday for me. And um, I could use the extra boost right now. So since we got another seasonal strike out here um we're gonna go into the town of nachis and uh see if anything there is open right now um there's a little dollar general that i may stop at uh, just because they're really good for checking out um for uh craft items they uh dollar generals especially they have all sorts of just random stuff it's not stuff that regularly rotates nine times out of ten so you might be able to get a really good deal on some random stuff to just throw on your stores for reselling if you're into that sort of thing also. Um, that being said, let's go drive down the road and see what we can find. <laughs> Well, we just pulled up into the little town of Nachi's, and um, I can pretty much already tell you that the first stop here looks like it's closed, but we're going to get out of the truck and go get some fresh air anyway. We're going to go look at the sign here, see what their actual hours are, and do the loop, because uh, in case you couldn't tell from the video coming in, there isn't a whole lot here. But this is usually a really cool thrift store. So this uh, yeah, they're they're closed. Makes sense. Last time I was here was on a weekend. Of course, they're only open on the weekends. But I guess I could call them, but I'm not sure I'm going to be a buyer today. So I guess we'll go just do the quick loop around Nachi's here. Fun fact. over 100 year old building and looks like somebody is doing something with it. It's awesome. Last time I was here, nobody was doing anything with that building. So that's really good to see. Oh, I love these windows. Walls, windows. I don't know what you want to really call it, but. Ooh, nice truck. I got a thing for, for AD model Chevy and GMC pickups. Yo. A Sonic. I don't know if you're into that kind of thing or not. Uh, personally not. But uh, to each their own, I guess. Man, that's a really cool walkway. I like how they put a modern walkway over this to preserve all of this. So the snowfall wouldn't take any of them down. Really cool. It's a hotel. Wow. Oh. Very cool. <laughs> wow. Appliance and home repairs. That's, again, that's really cool. Don't see those very often. Okay, I definitely need to come here on a Friday. 
because I'd love to come to this little bakery also. So maybe that'll be our thing this weekend. We'll come here to Nachis. Pretty cool. There's a cat. Kind of looks like Taco Cat. Only we're in Nachis, so that can't be Taco Cat. I mean, he does get around. But there's no taco trucks here, so I can't imagine he'd be that interested. Such a neat little town. I um, actually low-key was really upset that me and my wife couldn't buy a house here. Uh, this is the first place that I had looked in the Yakima area. I, this is where I really wanted to live. But we moved here during the pandemic and uh, there was a place here for sale, but it had it had some um, some structural issues that I wasn't I wasn't trying to get into. It was a really cool house though. Huh, okay, private event today apparently. Dang, we're striking out. They have some really cool oddities. Apparently the city of Natchez, or town of Natchez rather, is only open Thursday through the weekend. Which is fair, I guess. Oh, that's a cool pair of snowmobiles. Oh man, I'd love to have one of those. Those look fun. That sketches me out loading them in the back of a truck like that though. Those guys are pros. I would never be able to do that. I'd have to use my trailer. Yeah, this little bar and grill is open though. That's cool. I just ate, but dang, now I kind of wish I didn't. Wow, old timey laundry mat. Super cool. Dang, this is another cool little, little eatery slash oddity place. Here's this one from 1917, which I'm sure the whole block is that old, honestly, but I wonder what they're doing in here. I don't like to creep, but I am curious. <laughs> I don't know. Pretty cool though. Huh. So yeah, that's, this little town of Nachis. And uh, we're gonna head back to the truck and go to the next spot. I'm slowly learning that Monday is not the day in the Yakima Valley to go thrifting because, uh, dang. Yeah, um, the two places in Nachis, I drove right by them because their signs were off and uh, there were no vehicles in their parking lots. I just came to this one here, just kind of on the outskirts of town, connected to this big gas station, which is, and it's kind of quirky and cool and their prices are really, really good. But of course, yeah, they're, they're, they're closed too. So gosh, dang it. We are um, striking out entirely today. I'm not gonna give up that easily though. We're gonna go jump into town and uh, we'll stop at just any places that I can find on maps or anything like that that aren't in my usual route. Uh, maybe we'll stop at a few that are too. Just, you never know, you know, you can pop in on a good day when they just put stuff out. You, know, you never really have an idea until you try, so. On to the next one. We will find something. We will find something today. Gotta, gotta stay positive. I really never come here, but let's try out the Salvation Army and see, see what we can find here today, if anything. I never find anything at this store for some reason. Maybe today is the day. Well, I don't do camping gear anymore uh, for a couple different reasons, but 
This is super cool. Coleman Canteen. Pretty neat. All right. So we're back in the truck. Um, I tried doing a little bit of filming when I was there in Salvation Army. And um, one of the people who worked there uh, came up and actually asked me not to. Um, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. But, you know, I was totally cool and, and just, you know, apologized and, and didn't film while I was in there. Uh, so now that I'm back out, I actually found some stuff. Um, I'm very amazed. So, first off, these are a pair. Uh, the first one. Let me grab the second. I kind of got them half protected with a beanie here. There's the second one. I don't, I got a thing for ducks. I, I love ducks. I don't, I always have since I was a little kid. So when I find cool quirky duck stuff, I'm definitely hopping on it. Um, so that being said, there was another pair of plates in there that were um, Teddy Bear Picnic limited edition numbered from 91. They just, they were a little out of my price range as far as being able to pick them, you know, take my time to, to list them, uh, the shipping and everything. Like I, I just, if it was on a sale day and it was the right color tag, I would have picked them up, but they wanted a little more than I was willing to spend. And it kind of sucked because uh, I, I didn't want to just, I don't know, I, I didn't want to just get those plates. So I went through the entire store like three times. I went through clothing racks and looked through places that I wouldn't usually even look through just to check. And right before giving up, I was looking through some random holiday like Easter stuff they had. And I found her full porcelain handmade hand stitched I believe this is real hair of some type because it's kind of gross and get into that matty state um, I'm gonna pull a piece off uh, like a straight piece and do the the old burn and sniff test to make sure that it is and it's not plastic um, but yeah um, pretty good scores considering that I never come here I'm going to pop in next week when they do a, a, a restock and a, and a swap out of sales because I didn't find any white tag items, which is what was on sale today. So um, that being said, we're going to hop down to that other thrift store that I had found um, last week. Let's see if we have any luck there. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I got, I got a good feeling about that one for some reason. So we're going to go do some sniffing around. Well, almost got hit in the parking lot, but we made it. Excellent here. If I may say so myself. It's awesome, there's nobody here. It's like three people, it looks like. So let's do some hunting around and see if we find anything good. I've got a good feeling about today. Okay, well, um, my phone died, so I didn't take any footage when I was in the last place. Um, I've let my phone charge for a while now, so hopefully um, I can proceed as usual. But I got a few things. Got a old complete Holly deck and a Delta Airlines deck, which uh, hasn't even been opened. So that's pretty cool. I like old dice, playing cards, that kind of thing. Um, I admittedly don't gamble. I have a gambling problem, but I still collect all that kind of stuff because, like, I think it's really cool. Um, so, yeah, I picked those up just for some some craft things that I'm, I'm doing. Um, also got this bad boy. Old tools or something I do. Leather punch. Look like it was late 80s, early 90s from everything I found so far. 
with the kit. So that's really cool. Um, I've toyed around with doing leather work when I was a kid and um, I grew up around uh, equestrian stuff. So I've always admired like uh, um, heavily detailed and embroidered saddles and uh, you know, like the leather work of that nature. So anytime I find those kinds of tools, I, I pick them up because I know that they have like a weird little niche calling to them. And honestly, in the meantime, it could be incredibly handy too. I do crafts all the time and uh, you ever sew leather? It's not, it's not fun. Anywho, let's go to the next place. We are at the Central Goodwill. And I don't know, out of all the Goodwills in my area, this is the one I have the best luck at. The most routinely. So we're gonna we're gonna see what we can find here today. You never know being a hooker. You really never know. You gotta stop anywhere you can. We're doing this now. Okay, so I mean, this late in the day, I, I was a little skeptical that I'd find anything at Goodwill, but I actually like scored today, uh, pretty pretty stoked. So um, first and foremost, don't put items. Sorry, my my low battery came on. Uh, yeah, first and foremost, don't put items back on the rack and walk away still thinking about it i i stick it in the cart and then if i'm not down i'll go put it back later kind of thing like nine times out of ten today was one of those random times where i actually looked at something and there was somebody right behind me in the aisle way and like a total dummy i i thought like man i might get this and i stuck it back on the shelf and i just turned and kept walking and as soon as i did the guy in the aisle there was was watching me and he gets all excited and he's like, oh my goodness this is an old cigar box and runs over and starts looking and looking and looking and luckily he put it back too so as soon as i heard him saying that i was like oh no now i have to get it and i got it only a couple dollars uh these are incredibly collectible and you can repurpose them for all kinds of things. Like if you're doing oddity boxes and stuff like that on Etsy, they're awesome for that. Um, you just can't advertise that there's a cigar box because you know, you're not supposed to sell anything tobacco related on there. So, you know, wording is everything. Um, so that's a really cool find. I might keep this. I don't know. I have a thing for cool old wooden boxes. Um, so with that we got a few t-shirts admittedly one of them's for me um, it's not vintage but it's just old enough that I had to have it and it's in my size yeah, if you're a big kid like me and you grew up on the good era of Cartoon Network, or at least the last lingering good era of Cartoon Network, you know who all those characters are. Admittedly, totally had to have it for the Ed, Ed and Eddie, um, and uh, so Johnny Bravo sealed the deal. So that's mine. Um, unless somebody wanted it, then you know I would definitely be swayed to sell. Um, regardless, we do have a few things for sale. Vintage Space Jam. This is an official Space Jam shirt too. That's cool considering they just did the remake. Space Jam is somewhat hot and um, you really just can't go wrong with it. Um, women love those kinds of tees. So they're really, really hot. Had to get it. And with that, my wife might honestly snag this. I wouldn't blame her at all if she did. 
Backstreet is back, all right? I, again, I had to get it. it. That kind of stuff is really big right now. Um, and honestly, finding black band tees is getting harder and harder and harder. So uh, I really couldn't pass those things up. Pretty good score today overall, considering, you know, we really were striking out there in the beginning. Um, I'm gonna drive up the road and go to one more place and then I gotta go get my kid and we'll wrap it up, call it a day sort of thing. So, the hunt goes on. All right, here at the last stop of the day. Let's see what we can find. There, of course, is quite a few people here already, but it's kind of what happens when you show up at like three in the afternoon, so I'm pretty hopeful we'll find some cool stuff though. It's pretty cool. It's a fruit press. Squeezing juice. Another thing is like that. Super nifty. Is that a chili pepper? <laughs> totally is. Sweet. All right, well, I was going to film inside, but honestly, I had to just contain myself the whole time. Um, they just got a bunch of new stuff in the record bins. We've got Aftermath, the Rolling Stones, original pressing. Got Sitting In, Loggins and Messina. Big fans of theirs, original pressing. Blind Faith. If you don't know who Blind Faith is, Clapton. Yeah. Original pressing. This one I'm real proud of. Yeah. The Yardbirds. Original pressing. One of those records is worth, uh, 150 to 200 depending on condition the other easy 250 all day i'm not sure if i want to get rid of them but i probably will big fan of records all right y'all well that's pretty much all my scores for today i gotta get out of here and pick up my kid so as always, y'all have a good day. If it's the evening, then y'all have a great night, and I uh, will see you next time.